What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Pride Week on this channel. If this is the first video you're watching on my channel, then hi, I'm Sara. I make realistic beauty content and very inclusive beauty content on YouTube. So if you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and join the Sara squad. And also click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified every Thursday and Sunday when I upload a new video. For today, we are on video number two of Pride Week and for that, I'm doing this very colorful, glittery, sparkly, cut crease makeup tutorial using everything but a colorful eyeshadow palette. So it's going to be a mix and match of so much jugaad that you're going to learn in this video and so much of blending techniques. So if you're interested to learn all of that, then please keep on watching. First step, I'm going to prime my eyelid. We'll start with the eye makeup first because we are using a lot of color. So if there's any fallout, we can quickly like wipe it and go ahead with our base makeup. So for priming my eyes, I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base. I usually use it with my finger, but my nails are long right now. So I'm just going to use this uh, flat brush. So I'm just going to slowly carve out my shape of the brows as well and take it in the inner corner all the way outside. Okay, now I'm taking this Fit Me Loose Powder. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and just press it on the entire eyelid so that it's a blank canvas ready for some solid color blending. So what I have in mind for my eyes is that I'm gonna do a cut crease look but uh, I'm going to do a heterochromic cut crease look. So I'm going to go for like the cooler tones on one eye and the warmer tones on the other eye and then crisscross on the lower lash. Now, I really can't imagine this, so I really hope it looks good. Uh, and then we'll just tie it all together with like glitter on the eyes and a black eyeliner. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna like really experiment with you guys. I've not played with so much color ever, ever, like ever in my life. So I'm first starting with the ColourPop Yes Please palette. Now, I really don't have one single colorful palette, and so I'm gonna be using a lot of different palettes, lipsticks, Eyeliners, cajols and all of that. So just use whatever you have. You don't need to have the same products as me. Clearly, I don't have everything that a makeup artist would have. So you can use whatever you have. Uh, in this palette, I do have a very nice prominent yellow color. It's not the most pigmented, but we can make it work. So I'm going to start with this yellow color on this eye. Taking this dense packing brush and packing a lot of yellow shade dusting off any excess and I'm going to pack it on the inner corner we will take it all the way up to the brow alright so I think I'm happy temporarily with the yellow we'll go ahead and reinforce it later uh, for the orange bit I'm taking the Lakme 9 to 5 lip and cheek tint this is in the shade Tangerine Fluff, so it's a nice and bright orange color. I'm going to take it on my fingers as well and just like place it in the middle portion. Concentrating this color on my crease of course because we don't really need color on the lid. And now just blend the yellow with the orange in the center in like wind swiper, tiny uh, wind swiper motions. Don't go all the way, you just want to merge them in between. I'm taking more yellow because the yellow is very light and it is disappearing in the power of orange so to make the yellow shine keep on adding it and reinforce the blend. I am going to reinforce the orange with another orange color as well in a different palette but first let's add red. For red I'm using a red lipstick. Uh, this is the Disguise Cosmetics 02 lipstick in the shade uh, red model and I'm going to take that again on my finger and place it on the outer corner see I'm going very messy here because we are doing our eyes first so we really have the liberty to clean up any mess we make now mix the orange with the red and make sure your brow bone is also nice and clear there has to be some highlight section left so I feel like the orange is lost somewhere in the red and the yellow. So I have another orange shade in the Morphe X Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. It's a shimmery orange but it works really well. It's called Ward Noise and it's right here. So uh, you can see I'm just like mixing, matching, playing with whatever I have. 
taking this bright vermilion orange color and I'm gonna place it where I placed the lipstick before, the orange lipstick and it'll add that nice shine and make the orange really pop. Okay, when you're doing colorful looks like this, I realize that you should always have one clean brush at hand to just wipe and like blend everything in place. So always keep this one brush that you've not put any product on and like make sure it's helping you blend all the colors in place without adding any extra product. Okay, I think for now I'm happy with how this looks. So I'm going to cut this crease and really see how this eye looks. Okay, I'm taking a Q-tip and I'm putting some uh, makeup remover on this so that I can cut and clean out all the product from my crease. So with this I'm going to clear out uh, my lid space. Whatever makeup I have on the lid is going to get clear with this. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I've like cleaned the lid space. I have very little lid space because I have hooded eyes. And so now I'm going to take the pack concealer and just like clean out that space and then we can put some nice glitter on it uh, to make it sparkle a little more. I've placed some product, I'll blend it with the same flat brush. This is the part where you have to be careful because you're defining the crease. Till now we were like just going messy and doing our thing. But now you really have to be careful with the way your hand goes. Okay, so for the green shade on this eye, I'm going in again in the Morphe X Jeffree Star Eyeshadow Palette and there are two green colors right here. One's a more lime green and one's a little darker. So I mix both of them for the green shade. Just like we placed the yellow in the inner corner and on the brow bone, I'm going to do the same thing with the green. So for a cut crease look, what I have realized with uh, the little experience that I have about cut creases is that you have to pack a lot of shadow uh, near the crease area because that's the place you will cut, you need that depth definition uh, for the crease. So don't pack lesser product niche ke, you know it's gonna get wiped off. Pack even amount of product on your brow bone and on your crease because that's the area where you're going to cut and it should look like defined and differentiated from the whatever you put on the lid. It takes a lot more blending when you're playing with color as compared to when you're playing with neutral shadows. Okay, I think I'm happy with the green right now. Let's dive into the next color. So I'm done with the green. I'm happy with the blend of the green. Let's dive into the next shade that's going to be blue. Uh, so for blue and for all the other three shades on this eye, I'm going to dive into the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. Over here in the lower row, we have a lot of blues and purples to play with. So I'm first going to start uh, with a little bit of this matte blue and add a little bit of sheen to it with the shimmer. And it's going to be very close to the green, so it might not even be seen in the final product. Next, we'll dive into this indigo shade and then finally finish it off with the purple. Adding a little bit of the shiny blue so that the blue is more prominent because it's just blended into the green and looks like this aquamarine shade. So yeah, this, oh, that is pigmented over oh here. Okay, next I've taken the indigo shade. I'm taking very little of this. It's much darker, so I don't want to overpower it. I'm placing it next to the light blue. I'm going to take another cleaner brush and just buff this in place. Also, you guys, I've literally done this entire eye look with my fingers and uh, just two brushes. If you just have two brushes and you have like this brush cleaner, instant brush cleaner by Pack, uh, it's a two minute instant brush cleaner. It's amazing. You just have to spritz this and swipe your brush on a tissue paper and it cleanses all the color from your brush instantly. So I've literally just been doing that while I've been playing with color. Just two brushes and a lot of brush cleaner. Okay, let's go in with the purple. The purple is the most pigmented color in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And it's also one of my favorite colors in general. I don't know why I don't do a lot of purple eye looks. But uh, purple and pink are my favorite colors to wear on the eye. Okay, I think I'm satisfied. This eye of course looks much more brighter than this one. But we are going to cut the crease here as well. The same way I did on the other eye and be right back. 
All right, we're back. Uh, both the eyelids are cut and uh, the shadows look very, very nice. I'm very happy with the end result. So now that I have concealer on both my lids, let's go in with the nice sparkle shimmer star of the show. And for that again, I'm using my Morphe X Jeffree Star Shadow Palette. And this shade Millions right here is the most gorgeous pressed glitter I own. And honestly, the best one I've ever used as well. So this is the color I'm going to use now. Just look at this. It's so gorgeous. I'm going to place this all over my lid on both the eyes. And let's see how it looks. Honestly, this is the glitter I would wear on my lids the day I was getting married. That's how I feel about this color. I'm just first roughly pressing the glitter and then I'm going to go ahead with a brush. This looks so good. Oh my god, it's coming together. So I'm going to take a teeny tiny flat brush and like define the crease with this glitter. Alright, now that the glitter is on, it's time to clean the face up or whatever excess product we have on our face which is going to mess with our base makeup. Let's just clean it away. Be very careful. Uh, don't mess up the eyeshadow at all. Just clean your face. Alright you guys, so here we have it. Our cut crease is ready. Let's dive into the base makeup and then we'll go ahead and finish up the eyes. Starting with primer, I'm using the Chambord uh, Anti Shine Primer and I'm going to press it in my T-zone. For foundation, I'm mixing two. I'm mixing the Pack HD foundation with the Huda Beauty Four Filter foundation. Taking one pump of the Pack and half a pump of Huda because Huda is pretty pigmented. Taking the Plume & Co sponge and dabbing this foundation on my face. For concealer, I'm using the pack or uh, Spotlight Concealer and I'm going to place very little. If you want a detailed tutorial on this base makeup tricks, then you should check out my beginner's makeup series. I'm going to add it in the cards up here. So you can go and check that out. The link will also be in the description. Now this is when you get a chance to like define your uh, eyeshadow and clean up any mess you've made uh, so very closely and carefully bounce your product next to your eyeshadow line. You want the line to be matching like your nose or the end of your eye and your eyebrow. So this is how your winged eyeliner will go and that's how I want my shadows to go as well. To set my concealer in place, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I'm going to take it on a brush and just dust it lightly on my face because I don't really like baking with this powder. It's very drying and if you're a dry skin type, you'll really not like it. I'm oily skin and I still find it drying, so just imagine. Next for bronzer, I'm using the Colourpop Rodeo Dry Bronzer. Taking this on the Pack 214 brush. Okay, for blush with these colorful eye looks, I've really enjoyed a nice pink prominent blush. So for that, I'm using uh, these colors in the Jeffree Star palette, like these prominent pink colors and really like creating a nice blush uh, situation on my face. The brush I'm using for the blush is uh, the Elf Stippling brush. Every time I say this line, it's just a tongue twister in itself. So I'm like taking it all the way up to my cheekbones, like covering my entire cheek and cheekbones and a little bit of my brow bone as well with the blush. So it like really merges well into my eyeshadow. Okay, this blush might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it definitely is my cup of tea these days. So now for highlighter, I want like a lot of glow. So I'm gonna use Leave it in the comments if you know already. The Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. Even though mine is shattered, I'm just going to use it because I love this eyeliner. This is the highlighter of my dreams, you guys. I just look at that glow. Ah! Oh. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone as well.
All right, we're done with the major face makeup. So let's set this in place. For that, I'm using the Wet n Wild Matte Finish uh, Makeup Fixer. I literally hate this spray bottle. It's so terrible. Just like it's like somebody spitting on my face. I'm gonna pick up all the excess product with my beauty blender. Okay, now that the face is all complete, let's complete the eyes and then we'll move on to the lips. So I'm gonna zoom you guys again. So for the lower lash, like I said at the beginning, I'm gonna switch it up. So these are the combination of colors I'm gonna do here. Right now we are like V I B G Y O R. So now it's gonna be R O Y and B I G B I V. Okay. So that's like what's in my mind. I'm starting with the yellow shade on this eye. Moving on to the orange from the Jeffree Star palette. And now for the red, we'll dive into the lipstick. So diving into the other eye, I'm first gonna clean my brush. Let me show you all this brush cleaner in action. Just spritz some product and then take like a wet wipe or a tissue paper. And then you can see all the color will just come on onto the tissue. So for the other, I'm starting with the green. Moving on to the blue eyeshadow from the Jacqueline Hill palette. Taking the indigo shade in between. And now finally placing the purple. I'm flicking the purple out a bit because I want it to merge with the red on top. Just the way I flicked the red over here to merge it with the purple. So thoru sa, not too much. And there we have it, a perfectly blended lower lash. I'm so happy this look turned out exactly how I imagined it. Now to tie it all together for the lower lash, I'm using the Wet n Wild uh, White Eyeliner. This is something I recently purchased. It was in my Nykaa haul video and uh, it's so good. It's so pigmented and it glides very easily across your waterline. Now I'm going to draw winged and a really dramatic winged eyeliner with the Lakme. Uh, absolute shine line black eyeliner if you want to learn how to do a winged liner step by step again check out the beginners makeup week videos they are going to help you a lot all right eyeliner done that was the most crucial most like hand shivering thing to do because to get the eyeliners to match you guys it's tough and I'm not gonna say that they are identical they are not twins but they're sisters I'm really actually happy with how this looks what do you guys think sound off in the comments below I'm gonna do my brows and my lashes off camera and be right back alright you guys so I went ahead added lashes brows and also inner corner highlight off camera and I added some cute love hoops and added a high ponytail which is going to give me a serious headache in the evening but now let's dive into the lip and complete this look for that I'm first going to line my lips using the sugar lipping on the edge lip liner in the shade wooded by nude This color looks so good as is but I want a little bit of like a sheeny look to it. I don't prefer gloss that much otherwise I would add a nice juicy gloss but I don't like my face with gloss or my lips with gloss or the feel of gloss in general. So I'm going to use the Lakme um, 9 to 5 Primer Plus Matte Lipstick in the shade Maple Matte. This is a nice satin matte uh, so it will give a little bit of shine to my lips not make it look very very matte and it's also a nude color. Alright you guys, so this completes the colourful cut crease makeup tutorial which was video number 2 for Pride Week. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked this video. If you did then please don't forget to hit the like button down below. Also share this video with your friends and family and let's make the Sara Squad even larger. For today the Sara Squad shout out goes to Rutuja Dicholkar. Thank you so much Rutuja for watching and supporting my channel. If you want to be a part of the next video Sara Squad shout out then all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon right next to it and leave a comment down below with the hashtag Sarah Squad and you'll get a chance to be a part of next video Sarah Squad shout out. I will see you guys next Sunday for the last video of Pride Week for which I have a very special guest on board so stay tuned for that and I will see you in that video next Sunday. Bye guys, love you all.